EIE Instruments Private Limited Presence Determination of Ductility Test of Bitumen as per IS-1208 with amendment at the year 2004 and Determination of Elastic Recovery Test of Bitumen as per IS-73-2006 Ductility Test In the flexible pavement construction, it is desirable that the bitumen binders used in the bituminous mixers form ductile thin film around the aggregates. This serves as better physical looking of the aggregates. The binder material which does not possess sufficient ductility would crack and spoil the pavement surface. The right ductility value of bitumen binder is essential requirement for making good highways. The ductility value of bitumen binder is expressed as the distance in centimeters to which a standard briquette of bitumen can be elongated before the thread ruptures. The test is conducted at 25 degrees Celsius plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius and rate of pull of 50 mm per minute plus or minus 2.5 mm per minute apparatus the ductility apparatus consists of ductility mold the ductility mold made of brass metal consists of two end clips and two side pieces as per shown dimensions length 75 mm plus or minus 0.5 mm distance between clips 30 mm plus or minus 0.3 mm width at the mouth of clip 20 mm plus or minus 0.2 mm cross section at minimum width 10 mm plus or minus 0.1 mm thickness of the mold 10 mm plus or minus 0.1 mm ductility testing machine this apparatus is a constant water bath type and a pulling device at a pre-calibrated constant speed of 50 mm per minute and 10 mm per minute the central rod of the machine is threaded and through a gear system provides movement to ductility molds the clip of which is fixed at one end and second clip is stretching thread of bitumen binder away from the first clip. Two clips are thus pulled apart horizontally at a uniform speed 50 mm per minute plus or minus 2.5 mm per minute. The machine has a provision to fix three ductility molds at a time. Also the machine has an indicator to indicate the length of the sample stretch. One circulating water pump is provided for uniform temperature throughout the bath. The heater is provided for maintaining the required temperature of 25 degrees Celsius plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. Also, Refrigeration setup with compressor and other fittings are recommended to carry out the test at required test temperature of 25 degrees Celsius plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. Procedure The bitumen sample is heated to a temperature of 75 to 100 degrees Celsius above the approximate softening point until it is fluid. The solution of glycerine and dextrine is applied at all surface of ductility mold where bitumen is exposed. Now, bitumen is poured into the ductility mold assembly until it is more than level full. Total, three specimens of such type is prepared to conduct the test simultaneously. The molds along with the plate assembly and bitumen sample 
is kept in room temperature for 30 to 40 minutes. The air-cooled specimen is then kept in water bath maintained at 25 degrees Celsius plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Thereafter, the sample and mold assembly are removed from water bath and excess bitumen is cut by hot knife. After trimming the bitumen sample, it is placed in ductility machine for 85 to 95 minutes at 25 degrees Celsius plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. The side pieces of the molds are now removed. Pointer is set to zero and machine is started and two clips are pulled apart at the rate of 50 mm per minute. The sample is immersed in water above and below at least 25 mm while performing the test. The distance at which the bitumen thread of each specimen ruptures is recorded as ductility value in centimeter. Results The average of three tests is reported as ductility value of the bitumen sample. Three values should be plus or minus 5% of the mean value. If the three values are not within the shown limit, but the two higher values are within a plus or minus 5% of the mean value, then the mean of the two values is considered as the test result. The repeatability of the result should not differ by more than 10% of the mean value. The reproducibility of the result should not differ by 20% of the mean value. Precautions The test temperature and pouring temperature should be strictly adhered. Minimum width at the cross section of the sample should be 10 mm by 10 mm. The stretching thread should not touch to the bottom of the ductility machine. The test temperature 25 degrees Celsius plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius and rate of pulling 50 mm per minute plus or minus 2.5 mm per minute. The requirements of ductility value for paving bitumen as per BIS are as shown. Determination of Elastic Recovery Test The elastic recovery test is intended to assess the degree of bitumen modification by elastomeric additives. This test is conducted in ductility testing machine. The elastic recovery of the modified bitumen is evaluated by comparing the recovery of thread of modified bitumen after conditioning for one hour at specified test temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. Apparatus Apparatus consists of Ductility testing machine Elastic recovery molds as per shown dimensions Length 75 mm plus or minus 0.5 mm distance between clips 30 mm plus or minus 0.3 mm width at mouth of clip 20 mm plus or minus 0.2 mm distance between side pieces 10 mm thickness of the mold 10 mm plus or minus 0.1 mm thermometer scissor and scale procedure the sample is prepared and conditioned as per the procedure of the ductility test the test specimen is elongated at the specified rate of 50 mm per minute plus or minus 2.5 mm per minute the test specimen is elongated to a deformation of 10 cm at specified test temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. 
as soon as the specimen is elongated to a deformation of 10 centimeters, the machine is stopped and the specimen is cut into two halves at the midpoint using the scissors. The specimen is kept in the water bath in an undisturbed condition for a period of 60 minutes at specified temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. After one hour, the elongated half of the specimen is moved back to the position near the fixed half of the test specimen so that both the pieces of the specimen just touch each other. The length of the recombined specimen is measured as D centimeter. Results The elastic recovery of the tested specimen in percentage is computed as Elastic recovery percentage is equal to 100 in brackets 10 minus D upon 10 where D is the length of the combined specimen in centimeters. The elastic recovery test can be used to test the suitability of the modified bitumen for paving applications. Modified bitumen with low elastic recovery value is generally found to crack. As per the specifications of IRC, the requirements of minimum elastic recovery value for different modified binders are as shown. Precautions The test temperature and pouring temperature should be strictly adhered. Minimum width at the cross section of the sample should be 10 mm by 10 mm. The test temperature of 15 degrees Celsius plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius and rate of pulling of 50 mm per minute plus or minus 2.5 mm per minute should be maintained as per requirement. Thank you. Wishing you an accurate testing. Please visit us on www.eieinstruments.com.